So for today's trial, I'm going to be trying out a recipe for dyeing cheesecloth. Um, I saw this on Pinterest and it's the recipes for like newborn wraps. And so I bought these, um, I bought two of these cheesecloths. So I'm going to divide them up and use this pin that I found to dye the cloths and see what we come up with. So. Let's get started. Okay, so here are the um, here's the cheesecloth sitting soaking in the dyes, and I'll just show you the colors, the flavors that I use. That one's the fruit punch or tropical punch. I don't remember. It's the blue and grape one. This one is orange, and um, the other one, I don't remember the flavor, but it's like a reddish orange tint. And then that one's cherry and strawberry. That one's blue. And this one I have soaking in tea. And there's about four black tea packets. And this one is soaking in coffee and um, a mixture of coffee and soy sauce. And so I have one more left to do. I'm just going to show you what I've been doing, basically following the Pinterest recipe. Okay, so I have sea salt, and I've just kind of given it a couple shakes, basically to line the bottom of the bowl. And then I add about a tablespoon of white vinegar. And then what I've been doing is just kind of making a paste. So I'll add like the Kool-Aid packets. This is grape and black cherry. So once I have all that in, I'll just kind of stir it up with the vinegar and sea salt before I add the boiling water to it. And then I'll just add the boiling water and then toss in the um, cheesecloth. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add cheesecloth on top into this. You can kind of see it taking the color. So these are all like, I think that these look a lot darker than they're actually going to be. Like just because the, um, like the water that, they're, that the dye is in is just so dark. I don't think they're actually gonna, once I let them soak and once they, I rinse them and they dry, I don't think that they're actually going to be like, like this is like really pigmented. I think it's gonna be a lot lighter than that based on like the Pinterest post that I saw. But I'm gonna let these soak probably for the rest of the night. It's 5.30 now and then I'll probably rinse them out at the end of the night in a couple hours. So. Okay, so it's 9.30, and this is what they all look like after about four hours sitting in the dyes. Looks just kind of like mush or something, so I'm going to rinse them out, and we're going to see what they look like. So this is the final product, and I think they came out pretty good. Um, they're not as pigmented as um, the Kool-Aid packets, but I really wasn't expecting that. 
The only thing that I'm kind of disappointed in is the blue packets. Um, the blue really didn't show up. So like this one was the blue packet and it's like such a soft blue that it's almost just like white. So, And then the um, ones that I mixed with like, like this one is the gray, or not gray, grape. This one is the grape in blue and it just came out like a pinkish color. So that's pretty much what happened with all of like the blue or grape flavors. Um, none of the blue dye came through, but um, out of these, I think that my favorites were the coffee and tea. Um, I just like the colors that they, they're just like, look like a natural color. I like the colors, how they turned out. So, I would say overall it was a success with a couple caveats. Um, definitely if you want to dye and make it red, it would work. If you wanted it to be pink using the red. Um, the blue, not so much. I think if I were to dye something again and I wanted more earth tones, definitely go with the coffee and tea. Those turned out really well. And doesn't have much crap in it so that's good um, but I think the next time if I want to dye something I'll probably just use dye instead of Kool-Aid but it was a cool experiment to try so would I try it again maybe just to see if I could tweak the recipe and make it better but other than that it's okay 20 cent packets to dye seven cheese cloths worked out pretty well so that is all I have and I will see you guys in the next video.